Today we are going to see um, an explanation of the method that we're going to use, a systematic method to obtain the bone graph models of hydraulic systems. So on the screen you have a model of a hydraulic system that has a reservoir here and it has another over here, reservoir or tank and you have a source over here, and you have a discharge over here. So let me disappear here for now, and then we'll just use the explanation that we have in here, and the graphs that I have in here. The, the first thing is that you, you gotta recognize what kind of elements you are dealing with. What do you have in here? And in here we can, um, you can see that you have, this is a source, you have a, um, you have a C element in here. So we have a little bit of a, of a problem here because th this is a C element. The IR is over here. I stand for the inertia of the pipe, R for the resistance here. This is a valve that opens and closes, the valvular resistor, and this is going to be a um, source of effort with no pressure because it's open to the air. So what are we going to do? The first is to recognize what elements we have. Of course, what we can do in, in this case, um, we'll will do so that we can we can annotate in here is so we have the, the hydraulic system in here now we could say this is a I would say this is source this is source source of um, and here, this is a tank in here. And so this is going to be a C element over there. This right here is, so not this, okay? This I'm going to, this is a C. This one is the, is a pipe in here. And this is, has an inertia. And also has resistance. So it, that's why it has an I element and also it has an R element. Then you have this other one is also a tank. Yeah? And of course, the C element. So that one is correct. This in here is a valve. Mm -hmm. This is a. In here, you. This is, of course, a valve. And valves are our elements. And this is this is the open air. And this is going to be a source of effort with um, E equals to zero. So it's going to be a reference because it's uh, it is the um, open air. Okay, let's close this. And once we recognize this over here, what I have done on the second step is to um, just make the system in, in dotted lines. Um, this is the, um, we have this, um, You know, just dotalize the system itself. Superimposing these construction lines, you may say, 
uh, I would like to begin building the, the system right here on the on this so what I do is I put the one junction for each flow I will put one here I put another flow over here yeah and then I put another flow over here so that's the first thing so first step is we put the flow step number two or well in this case step number three we will attach to the one junctions the physical elements that experience the distinct uh, volume flow rates like in this case attached to this one is this valve and that same volume flow rate is this uh, source of effort in here so this is going to be a um, source of effort with, uh, with value zero there and then we attach here the I element and the R element on the pipe that is my step number three and finally step number four we're gonna say okay we represent the differences in volume flow rates with zero junctions so the difference between this flow and this flow is this one and we create that difference here represented with this one so this flow minus this produce this so if if we want to um, look at in detail in here, uh, what we want to do is let's see, so we can write on it. If we if we have in here, you have this uh, uh, situation where. Uh, this flow minus this so this one is let's just let's just give it uh, some numbers to each flow like for this one um, let's let's call it you know it's gonna be flow one let's say okay flow one here and then you have this let's call it flow 2 here and this is going to be uh, on this side we're going to call it flow 3 what we are seeing is that in here if you have this um, this flow this one minus this if 2 minus F sub 3 and this other one in here minus this is this so this is F1 minus F sub 2 see so we created the flow differences and we have only one more step to go that is if you put this we attach the elements that see these differences so we have this and uh, uh, put the C element here and the other C element over there and once you have done this you can go to Camp G and enter the bone graph model in the same way and this would be ready to do the simulation so that's that's why we need to what we need to do okay I would like to go over this procedure in a little more uh, what can I say explicit way to do this uh, by using my notes in here as I have and also I would like to do the um, I would like to to apply the steps to this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to steal from my previous explanation 
the little example that I mean the picture that is in here this one I'm going to steal that and use that to build the um, to build my model in one note so I can explain it to you so so in here we need to paste the that yeah so we go over here now I am going to execute you know, one by one the, the steps that we have in here. I think the ver first thing that we do is, like I said, is to recognize the elements that we have. Um, and that is in here you have this uh, source of flow this is uh, open to the air, the source here. So now what we need to do is to follow the steps. We assign one, we assign a one junction for this flow, and a junction for this flow, and one for this. Uh -huh. Okay, so we are going to to put the elements that we want. Like in this case, I would put the um, source of flow here, and I connect it like this. This is a flow, and in here, um, this is also a source. I say we were going to do a source of effort in here because there's the um, we don't input any flow really is is more coming out here and then this is the symbol in the middle that indicates that that e is equal to zero here okay so um, we attach the elements that see this this we see this uh, right here is the the R element like that and also in here we will see this in here the inertia element and this other one which is the resistor so that's the step number two the next step is to create the flow differences and to do that we are going to I'm going to go and do this and here we have the difference between this and the other one it's going to be we'll do this okay. Okay, so we go here, put the zero here. So this minus this creates this one, where this is the, <clears throat> the flow one in here minus flow two. I see that we call this flow one and this flow two, um, which is, yeah. and this is flow 1, this is flow 2, then this one is F1 minus F2. And this other one over here, if we have this, put the 0 here and whatever continues to go over there is what will come here as a 1. This would be low 2 minus F sub 3.
if this is F16. So this is how we create the flow differences. And now we, the last step is to attach the elements that see those differences. That is the C element, which represents the stamp. And then you have this one, another C element, which represents this other tongue. Okay, so any questions about this? Okay, so this is how we have our bone graph model uh, complete once we, we do this and that we have followed the steps to create a bone graph model for a hydraulic system.